Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. The question for today has to do with J-pole antennas, a favorite antenna among those who operate 2 meters and sometimes 440 meters. Uh, most uh, standard J-poles are just uh, 2 meter antennas. This is Leonard KE8TLT. And judging from his email, he goes by the name of Leo. So let's take a look at this. He says, brand new technician, don't even have a radio set up yet. Trying to come up with a plan. Thinking of setting up with a J-pole antenna and an Anytone, uh, he says 778. Uh, I think the number might be a little bit different. Not purchased yet. Would it be feasible to mount a J-pole on the top of a 25-foot aluminum flagpole? I'm assuming I'd have to isolate it from the flagpole with an insulator. Actually not. Uh, I got the flagpole as a Christmas gift. I have to install it yet, though came to me it would be a good spot to put the antenna. Okay, well, let's look at a J-pole. This is a J-pole right here. Too big to get in the picture. Uh, it has quarter wave matching stub right here and then a half wave dipole. So this is essentially an in fed dipole. This is the part that radiates up here. Okay. And then there's a matching stub, takes the impedance from uh, zero where they're shorted, 50 ohms where they're. Uh, covered here and then all the way up to an extremely high impedance here which is perfect for end feeding a dipole. Okay, so they work very well. Now notice that this is just copper pipe down here and it's all welded together and the question becomes what can you do about this pipe? Well this pipe is for attaching it to something. There does not need to be an insulator of any kind. Just attach it to your flagpole. I would recommend that if this is electrically attached to the flagpole that you also ground the flagpole. I'm assuming it's metal. Uh, ground the flagpole with the ground rod down at the bottom because if there's any electrostatic charge picked up by this as the wind blows across it it's got some place to go. Otherwise, it'll go into your receiver front end and blow it out and ask me how I know. You may attach this directly. One thing you could look at doing is putting, uh, running your feed line up through the flagpole uh, until you get it up here and can connect right there. Okay. Now, technically, this is a balanced feed point. And so you could put a ballon in here, but a ballon for VHF becomes an interesting challenge. This uh, is a very good J-Pole. I've had this one for many, many years. It was made by the kids at uh, the junior division of the Boulder Amateur Radio Club. And a good antenna it is. So, yes, you can do that. Now note that the coax that you use should be RG213, LMR400, or RG8U, not RG8X, RG8U. RG8U is kind of an outdated cable. Not just RG8X because that is too lossy at two meters to do that, okay? Height will make up for some of the uh, losses, but I want to warn you in advance that an antenna that is higher than a half wavelength high will have multiple vertical lobes. So you could end up with your favorite repeater being right in one of those zero lobes. So just adjusting it a few inches may do the job. So there you go, Leo. Welcome on board to Ham Radio. Persevere and get everything set up the way you want. Until we next meet, 73.